It's all right. So um, we're getting tons of these kinds of patients, the runny nose, the cold, congestion, fever. Uh, some of it is the flu, some of it is just any other viral syndrome. But I'm gonna talk more specifically to those that have failed any other measures for cough. Of course, we give them the breathing treatment, we might give them some Robitussin codeine, make them goofy, but they're still coughing. Maybe tensile on perils, uh, they just keep coughing. So they're using lidocaine nebulizer to treat these patients. Use one um, milligram per kilogram nebulizer, use the most concentrated lidocaine you can so that it's less volume for the treatment, and you give it over whatever time it takes for that medicine to go through. Most common side effect, of course, they feel numb in their um, mouth area, and they'll get some bitter taste. Uh, of course, lidocaine has the effects of potential being cardiotoxic or having cardiac arrhythmias and things like that, but with nebulized treatment, it's very, very rare, so they don't recommend even cardiac monitoring for this patient. Of course, we've never really done that here, so if we were to start doing it, yeah, sure, put them on a cardiac monitor. And things you will watch for cardiac toxicities, PVCs, PACs, any signs of cardiac excitability or something like that. Um, they recommend that we keep the patient NPO for like one hour after just to prevent their trying to eat and then getting sick to their stomach. And uh, they, the, the treatment can be repeated a second time. Uh, they've done studies to show uh, in the vein how much lidocaine is their system after nebulized treatment. And it's, it's so little, it's not even worth checking. So it's pretty safe, it's got some side effects, but when everything else fails, it's an alternative to treat these patients with severe cough.